Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Rift Warden Helm, which is this new helm, uh, worth 500 gems on the gem store for a limited time only. Let's go. It's uh, quite a nice one. It kind of gives me... Is it Warframe vibes? Or maybe Mass Effect-y? Is it Mass Effect? I feel like this, it's reminding me of something, and I can't quite remember which. I feel like it's a Warframe-y vibe. But it's pretty cool, and it, it looks very nice. This is not default dies. This is the default dies for Seven Reapers gear. So it is a, a nice hooded Kel skin. Which is pretty good. There's no blinking effect on the eyes, which I guess makes sense. Actually, maybe it's Revan. It's giving me Revan vibes, maybe. Mm, that could be it, actually. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I quite like it. Let's check out the default dice. So currently we have Shadow Violet with Sage on top and then Green Shade and Key Lime down below. Shadow Violet is default, then you have Silt, Lemonade, and Violet. So here is the default dice. Ooh. Quite nice. Let's check out Full Shadow Abyss. So pretty much every part of the Kel is diable, or sorry, the, the headpiece. You do have a little bit of parts that are brighter than others, you can see. Uh, but everything is affected. And let's have a look at the dye channels. Top left is the main fabric of the actual hood. Top right is this band and then the mask part of the helm. Bottom left is sort of the uh, accenty bits, the rim of the band, the little crests and symbols. And then bottom right is the glow. Very nice. Here is our contrasting layer, so we have blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And you can see how all the different layers blend together there. Very nice indeed. Let's head on to all the different races of Tyria and check it out. Here we are on Silvari with the new Rift Warden Helm. Looks pretty nice. It does not really, I guess it goes okay with the glacial gear that we have on here. It's the ice reverse stuff, I think. It looks pretty nice, though. Let's see what the dye colors are here. So we have iron on top with glory and then grape gum and pink tint down below. Pretty good. Does it, like, move at all when you yawn or anything? No, it doesn't really move at all with your character's mouth. It's, which is good. I mean, as in the mask doesn't stretch at all. Instead of the mouth. Though sometimes I think the character's face comes through a bit. But that's okay. Right. Let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on Human. Ooh, the red looks really cool, actually. I don't think the blue is quite as good. Endurance running low. But it looks pretty good with the red. I like that. I actually, I really like this helmet. I might, I'm going to try and use it, I think. On someone, uh, I have to make a new character now. Why is there bubbles everywhere? I want a bubble. Yeah, I really like that. Let's see what the dye colors are here. That is blue and white gold on top. And then spring dew and bloody red down below. The bloody red is really, really nice. With the uh, white gold. I love that. Alright. Let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on Norn with the new helm. And again, it looks pretty nice. I believe this is 
die remover, I want to say, across the board? I'm not 100% sure. But it looks really cool. Is that gemstone? That's part of the armor, not the... Yeah, it's the armor, not the mask. So the die is here. Oh, it's not. It's die remover on top with chocolate and then shadow abyss and lemonade down below. Very cool. Finally, let's move on to char. Will it be good on char? Who knows? Here we are on char. I guess it looks all right. It's a bit big on char. A little bit stretched here at the neck. Though from a distance, it looks pretty decent. So it does. And I like the blue with the grey. It's pretty cool. It seems like no matter how you dye it, it's it's like it's not too hard to find a nice dye pattern with this, which is always nice. Why can't I? Am I not a reaper? I'm not a reaper, that's why. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the dye patterns. We have Dye Remover and Redemption on top with Sea Green and Tarnished Steel down below. Alright, let's head back to Quando and wrap up the demo. Here we go. Right, that is it from me for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out this week's giveaway. The link for that should be in the end screen to be in with a chance to win the Rift Warden Helm for yourself. You can also join the Discord, the link for that should be down below, and that'll keep you up to date with all things new on the channel, such new videos when I go live, and our weekly screenshot challenge in Guild Wars 2. You can also support the channel with the membership program, or with super thanks. That's it from me for today, so until next time, take care. Oh, and unfortunately next week I am busy on the Tuesday, so the demo and giveaway will be one day later next week. Sorry about that.